Hello, everyone. I hope that this Friday uh, finds you doing well and good progress being made at your house. I know a number in our church have had issues with not having power or you've had rolling power. Hopefully, power has been restored for everyone at this point. A number of people have also had water issues. You've had some frozen pipes, just like we have at the Knox house. Uh, at the moment, and on this day, as the temperatures are now above freezing, hopefully those thaw out without incident for any of us, and water is restored for you at the end of the day. A uh, number of you have dealt with just a number of issues uh, this week related to weather and temperature and a number of maybe even other matters. Uh, I hope the end of this week is beginning to resolve those matters for you and you can enter into a, a good weekend. Our church building has not been without incident this week. We had uh, discovered uh, about four o'clock Wednesday afternoon uh, that we had a significant amount of water uh, in our building uh, from the lobby down the hallway toward room 100, the conference room, and then upstairs, the same thing down the children's hallway. Uh, we've, we've now discovered that there was a busted pipe in the boys' bathroom upstairs, and it was spraying water, uh, and evidently for a quite considerable amount of time. And so the upstairs and downstairs in those areas have both been flooded. Uh, we had a team of people come in Wednesday night to begin to work to get water out and resolve, begin the steps of resolving that. Uh, we hired a company on Thursday morning that is working. We have 90 fans and 5D humidifiers in the building working to dry things out as much as possible at this moment and other steps being taken. Uh, there's a team of people there today moving uh, children's furniture, children's classrooms are going to be relocated, rooms for Happy Day will be relocated so that we can return to those uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so those kinds of things are happening uh, with, with the building. Uh, we currently do not have water uh, at the building, and so that's a lot of people for us to not have any water uh, at the building. It, uh, hopefully all of that gets uh, resolved soon. Uh, because of those factors of a building that is uh, wet and increasingly being uh, some things torn out to help resolve that matter, uh, and the fact that we don't have water and we don't know when we will have water also impacts what we were going to do Sunday. We were so looking forward to returning to on-campus Bible study Sunday uh, and uh, having everyone there, or uh, as many as possible, for, for worship services and in Bible study between the services and looking forward to, to that day. Well, that's going to be postponed uh, by, by a week uh, at this point. And so we won't do that. Here's what we are going to do Sunday. We will live stream one service only at 10 o'clock. And that also means some of our Bible study groups are going to have to adjust your meeting times. And we apologize for that. Uh, but since we're only going to do the, the one service, uh, we, we believe that uh, picking a, a different time uh, is the best thing at this point. You, you may debate that, and I, uh, and I understand that. But because of, of the situation, we feel like that is the best. Uh, and we need to live stream only so we can have as few people on campus as possible because we don't know if we will have water. And we just can't have people on campus if we don't have water and invite everybody, invite people there for a service. So Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, we will live stream one service uh, that you can um, access Facebook or YouTube uh, and you can worship with us and invite others to, to worship with us. Some of your Bible study groups meet during that time and we're going to ask you to adjust the time that you meet Sunday. Uh, and we, we apologize for that. You can do it before, you can do it after. And I think that will help everyone work together as well as we possibly can to be able to have worship uh, on Sunday. 
we want to we want to be able to worship together. It's not what we were planning for Sunday, uh, but that's okay. Uh, God will meet with us as we seek to meet God uh, Sunday uh, to worship the Lord, uh, to honor and exalt His name as we gather around screens uh, to to lift our voices, to humble our hearts, uh, to open our ears and our uh, our minds to hear from the work from God, from his uh, written word, from the songs that we sing together, from the prayers that we offer, from the scriptures that we read, and we will meet with God and God will meet with us. And God will do something amazing and wonderful for his people known as Lakeshore. For all of us who who have been gathering on campus already and all of us who have been gathering online uh, and Sunday as we all do so online, we're going to trust that God's going to do something wonderful with us as a church body and a church family. God is using his church in these days and God is using Lakeshore uh, to minister to people, to love people, to care for people in the name of Jesus. And we want to keep doing that together. I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. We will also be giving you updates soon about the building and the progress of what will be happening uh, with the building as far as as getting all of this mess cleaned up, dried up, and then put back uh, together. It's going to take a a little bit of time. We'll do so as quickly as we we can, Uh, but we want to do it right and, and well, and that's what we're trying to do at this moment. Hey, thank you for your time today. Uh, Help make sure others uh, know about this uh, so that we're all ready uh, for Sunday. And I'll look forward to seeing you Sunday morning at 10 o'clock so that we may worship our Lord together. God bless you. Have a great day.